Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you one example based on the concepts whatever I have discussed already in my previous video. In my previous video, I have told you about sorting in MATLAB. Whether it is bubble sort or whatever, we should not bother about the inside cases. We can work in the upper level itself with the uh, basic inbuilt uh, function s o r t this will sort this will sort the array suppose you write sort x okay then in matlab x will be sorted in ascending order or in increasing order so let me give you one quick recap of that also that suppose let me define x equal to randomly i am defining 1 5 3 7 9 4 0 0.3 minus 5 etc okay now what you write you just write sort x click enter see uh let me make it comment window a little bit bigger so that now you can clearly see see this sorting minus 5 0 0.3 1 3 4 5 7 9 so it is sorting in the ascending order or increasing order okay fine so you can check my previous video for detailed explanation the link will be given in the description so now based on this concept let us try to solve one practical problem and the question is write a program to create an integer array of n elements and read the value from the user okay that means like here i have shown you one example x equal to some inputs i have given this input you should not provide from the code itself the user that means direct code to user interface should be there that is the thing that we have to give the input from the user we should not provide any input the programmer should not if any input the user should give the input okay so very easy by uh, the inbuilt command the input itself we can give not a great deal in matlab but if you are dealing with java or python or c or c plus plus then it is a great deal uh, to take user input uh, by array okay anyway so read the values from the user and print the second smallest very interesting second smallest element in the array okay so let us check how we can do this okay so see i am giving this type of example so that your matlab basics become stronger and you can solve many practical problems with matlab itself if you have a strong back background of c then obviously well and good and that is the most uh, beneficial point if you know already c and then you are trying matlab because matlab is based on c only but if you don't know then also no problem so many of my friends always tell me that uh, they have uh, less uh, background suppose i am from ec electronics and communication department so many of my uh, my friends who have studied in uh, their schools in state boards or like that so many of them have not uh, I mean studied the programming okay this may happen to some state board students anyway so for those also to get the basics this type of questions you practice so that you can handle tough problems because in matlab matlab is very friendly language actually it will give you a lot of flexibility it will perform uh, bigger codes with a small inbuilt function you should know how to use you should know if you can able to remember then fine then you can solve any codes okay so now let us check so our intention is we have to give the input from the user step one step two we have to sort this and then we have to just give the output as the second smallest element of the array okay so see just i am giving you one idea just to discuss the algorithm you just understand the algorithm first suppose let me give three two one as input okay so what is the second smallest element two right so first step is give the input then just do the sorting in ascending order okay so sort x so see uh, let me define this sort x in one variable so that we can do some more steps with that so now see x equal to 3 to 1 now y equal to sort x becomes 1 to 3 that means it is already sorted in ascending order or increasing order now you need to extract the second smallest and it is obvious from the uh, concept itself that always the second smallest element after sorting will be the second element of the array. Okay. So basically, if you write y first bracket 2, see, we are getting 2. The second smallest element can be extracted after sorting by just taking the second 
element of the array that is the basic concept or algorithm for this code so now see writing the code is very easy i am writing in editor window in the left hand side editor window in the right hand side command window so x equal to c understand the question clearly c read the values from the user okay so what i am giving input first bracket let me give one message enter the elements of the array okay so this is the first step over now let me give the uh, variable z as sort of x okay right now we need to extract the second smallest so basically as i told you just you have understood that the second smallest is nothing but in the sorted array just you have to choose the second element that's only okay so control a select all control a then evaluate selection see here these things came came right now see the message in the command window saying enter the elements of the array you just define give third bracket because to give input as array we should use third bracket and to separate the elements we should give space right so let me give randomly uh, one then five then nine then two okay so is the second smallest element of the array you can say by basic mathematical itself that two should get as output okay so just click enter see what you are getting answer as two okay so basically with this basic three line code you can extract the second smallest element of an array okay you can uh, try your own combination the main uh, point is that you should understand the algorithm that after sorting the second uh, after sorting in which order after sorting in correct ascending order or increasing order that means sort operator you should use after sorting the second element of the array is nothing but second smallest element okay so for your comfortable purpose i am going to uh, write the code in the comment section sorry in the description of my this video also you can check from there this is all for my this video for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering matlab multi sim kill microvision for 8051 etc please subscribe my channel surely you will have fun with electronics and communication because electronics and communication engineering is like uh, if you want to feel the this uh, domain of engineering basically not only this domain if you want to feel mechanical civil ec uh, ec with iot etc any branch for most of the branch if you use matlab or some coding at least some other software also like java c++ python etc whatever is your comfortable zone if you practice those well surely it will help you to understand the concepts more okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching